Assalamu alaikum. I am Kalisa Afika binti Baharudin. In this video, we are going to learn about sodium benzoate. Do you guys ever hear about sodium benzoate? What is sodium benzoate? In food industry, sodium benzoate is known as a preservative used to extend the shelf life of processed food and beverage. It is an odorless crystalline powder made from combination of benzoic acid and sodium hydroxide through a neutralization process. Benzoic acid is an effective preservative on its own and combining it with sodium hydroxide helps it to dissolve in product. Sodium benzoate is commonly found in numerous food products along with benzoic acid. It is a man-made while benzoic acid is found in plants including cinnamon, tomatoes, apples, and cranberries. And certain bacteria produce benzoic acid while fermenting dairy products like yogurt. Now we will go through sodium benzoate as the preservative. Sodium benzoate was the first preservative approved by the FDA for us to use in food and still widely used food additive. It has been assigned the identifying number 211, for example, E211 in European food product. Sodium benzoate used as food preservative inhibits the growth of potentially dangerous bacteria, mold and other germ in food to prevent food spoilage and most suitable for food, fruit juice and soft drink that are naturally in acidic pH range, for example, like pickles, salad dressing, condiment, fruit juice, and soy sauce. Okay, what do you guys think about sodium benzoate? Is it safe or not? Generally, the sodium benzoate is recognized as safe and can be used as antimicrobial agent and flavoring agent in food with maximum usage of 0.1% and if it used in a product, it must be included in the ingredient list. It is not being banned in any country, however, the dose per product is being monitored, especially in US and Europe. Also, generally recognized as safe, GRES, when used as preservative in feed. Example of upper concentration allowed in food are up to 0.1% of benzoic acid in USA and between 0.15% and 0.25% in other countries. The European Commission's limit for benzoic acid and sodium benzoate are 0.015% to 0.5% as sodium benzoate is about 200 times more soluble than benzoic acid only about 0.1% is sufficient to preserve a product that has been properly prepared and adjust to pH 4.5 or below Do you guys know that sodium benzoate also have limit for consumption the world health organization who has set the acceptable daily intake adi level for sodium benzoate which is 0 to 5 milligram or lower per body weight and through a normal diet people generally don't consume sodium benzoate exceed the adi our body doesn't accumulate sodium benzoate rather metabolize and excrete it which is uh, through our urine within 24 hours which is contribute to our safety some people are wary of any chemical additive including sodium benzoate and the preliminary research raised concerns regarding its safety but more research is required as sodium benzoate have consumption limit, if we consume sodium benzoate above than we should, we will highly exposed to the risk of having the side effect. The current review based on research summarized the main adverse effect caused by the ingestion of sodium benzoate 
in people and animals and it indicates that toxicity varies depending on the species, dose and exposure to the preservative. Although there is still debate over the outcome for the preservative sodium benzoate, preliminary studies have evaluated are the possible risks of sodium benzoate includes inflammation, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder ADHD, appetite control, oxidative stress and allergies. A large concern over the use of sodium benzoate is its ability to convert to benzene, a known as carcinogenic. Benzene can form in soda and other drinks that contain sodium benzoate and vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. Diet beverages are more likely to create benzene, but sugar in the conventional soda and food drinks may prevent its development. However, heat and light exposure as well as prolonged storage duration can all raise the benzene levels in the drink. Now, let's us go through the cases of sodium benzoate or benzoic acid that relate to human. In US FDA and WHO, several older studies concerning oral exposure of benzoic acid or sodium benzoate are described. However, owing to the limited number of individuals, mostly the single case studies, the validity of this study is limited. No adverse effects were reported after single oral dose of 10,000 mg benzoic acid or up to 1,000 mg per day over a period up to 92 days. While in another study with volunteers given 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 or 2,500 mg per day for 5 days each mark symptom sign of discomfort which are malice, nausea, headache, weakness, burning, and irritation of esophagus were reported. In 9 patients of penicillin treatment given 10,000 mg benzoic acid divided into 8 doses over 5 days in 8 subjects and over 14 days in 1 subject and resulting no adverse effect on blood urea nitrogen or creatine clearance work. A single dose of 2,000 to 3,000 mg of sodium benzoate cause signs of intoxication similar to those described for benzoic acid. Hence, more research is needed, but this additive sodium benzoate has been associated to an elevated risk of health concern such as inflammation, ADHD, and obesity. Regardless, it is always a good idea to limit your intake of processed food and choose products that include fewer artificial additives and more natural component. Thank you.